Tourism is one of the largest contributors to the overall economy here in the Falklands. And with the first cruise ship arriving on Friday 29th of September, excitement is in the air as the industry prepares itself for thousands of visitors arriving to these shores. The predicted numbers for this season, um, if they all came in at capacity, which they don't, um, is 101,000. Oh, so that's quite a big increase then in the last few years, isn't it? Yes, it is. Um, and interestingly enough, um, a lot more visits to camp destinations. We get a mix of land-based returnees and also the GEM, which is converting cruise-based visitors to land-based. So quite often, people will come on an expedition ship and have a quick look at the outer island locations and spend maybe a couple of hours there. Or they'll just come into Stanley, say, for a day trip. And of course, they get that first taste of the Falklands and it whets their appetite straight away. And we get so many emails that say, oh my goodness, we had no idea what the Falklands was like. We knew it was part of our cruise ship itinerary. Um, having experienced what we did, we, you know, we really know that we need to come back and actually spend so much more time. And so that's really pleasing because obviously for the Falklands economy, to convert people from cruisers to land base is just, you know, it's the dream, basically. It is not just international tourism, however, that plays an integral part in the industry, but also domestic. Last Saturday saw people from all areas of the tourism industry come down to the Jetty Centre to celebrate World Tourism Day. So World Tourism Day, we like to get everybody involved because we are such a key industry. So tourism as a whole is one of our biggest industry and markets. So to make more people aware is always a great thing. And it just gets everybody in the community involved and aware of what people in the industry are doing as well. So I'm, I'm just here representing my parents today, so I'm just um, offering the leaflets and, um, uh, and just explaining to people a little bit about what they do. Um, so they offer a range of tours around these Falklands um, and also sort of bespoke crafting experiences where um, you can learn leather work or needle felting and it's a bit of a sort of day event and you can have lunch at the house and, and, learn, uh, and, and go away with something that you've made at the end of it. So. There's a variety of things, so we have like Penguin Travel who do tours, local tour guides, so you can come through the tourist board and find out who's available to take you to places like Volunteers, Kelp Point, all different areas. Um, you also have the restaurants and the food businesses who make amazing things and it encourages everybody to get out and try something new. Domestic tourism has been a growing market, transforming since 2019 due to the COVID pandemic with lockdown travel becoming more popular. There were over 16,000 overnight trips in 2022, with the domestic tourism industry bringing in an estimated £1.2 million. Tourism made a direct contribution of around £6.8 million to the Falkland Islands economy in 2022, with near 60,000 cruise passengers arriving in Stanley. Numbers that were, however, still below those of the 2019 to 2020 season. We had an unfortunate year with the weather, with cruise vessels. Um, we lost over 20,000 passengers, but um, we would have been nearly backed up to the numbers of 2019-20. So uh, a really good start to, to the recovery. Um, and this season is looking as though it'll be slightly larger um, than last season. But again, a lot of it comes down to weather. Um, this season is looking really healthy and we've already got a significant number of bookings for the following season as well. For example, January 2025, you know, we're struggling to find space. Hopes are high for a successful season, one that many are optimistically predicting may be able to bring numbers back up to pre-COVID levels.